ending tomorrow, nor am I one who would say, I don't have to do anything about this. Mm -hmm. I think we are at a point where we have to learn a lot more. We have to be more thoughtful because every, every issue that we're talking about has consequences. And these consequences will impact on our lives. And we have to know how to handle it. And we have to be sensible in the solutions that we are not going to exaggerate issues and make it impossible for our lifestyle to deteriorate. So one of the ways, we got that last minute left, what ways do you think we can handle the situation? I think that the, the prospects of improving our performance are good. I think we will begin to find we will utilize natural gas. We will lower, we may not achieve the, the goals that have been set by Obama, for example, in reduction of emissions, but we'll get there. We'll, things are not going to get that bad because we don't know what the future looks like. We can only make prognostications. Yeah, because it's hard to know what the people say, well, look at the past, but the past, there wasn't very much scientific evidence. This is an on issue the past. that the past you know, does not have anything right. to do with. We don't we can't, know. We can't, uh, it isn't like some things in medicine that we know by using this, this happened. It, it's, a, it's a much bigger uh, problem. Absolutely. And it's a big issue. And we need people like scientists like yourself, scientists all over the world. We need people all over the world to be in on it, not just one country over another. We need everyone we could possibly get and to use one mind to get different opinions. And, and this is what it is. It's about different opinions. Life is going to go on. It's not, it's not doomsday. But we do have to do something about some change. Again, uh, David, it was a pleasure having you on the show. I'm inviting you back. There's going to be more scientific evidence. And thank you very much again for coming to Commons Roundtable. Thank you very much.